like this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Ah! Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on a sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left and do me testing. Pick your second right, press more from the magic school bus. Alligator, not a I'm on the magic school bus. Spank a plane, turn two. Take that. I love magic school bus. Rock the river of love. I'm on magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today on CBTV, St. Patrick's Day, March Madness, and E! News. Good morning, CB. I'm Delaney O'Brien. And I'm Connor McHugh. Seniors, as a reminder, senior projects are due April 1st. Please see Mrs. Jones and Mrs. Kostelik with any questions. FBLA is selling CV Pura Vida bracelets for $6. See one of the officers that were stopped in Ms. Stallone's room to purchase a bracelet. Attention all girls in grades 9 through 11. JV and varsity cheerleading sign up. The deadline is March 17th. Cheer clinics will be on March 21st and 22nd from 6.30 to 8.30 in the high school gym. Tryouts will be on March 23rd at 4 o'clock. Have you heard of Mr. Beaver County Scholarship Competition? The scholarship is open to junior and senior boys in Beaver County schools who are good in academic standing, drug-free, and have a talent. The first place prize is $1,000. The deadline to sign up is April 4th, and entry submissions are due April 24th. For more information, visit the guidance office. Reminder to all FBLA state members. Your online testing window is next week, Monday, March 21st through the 25th. On Tuesday, April 26th, the guidance office will be offering SAT to any junior or senior students during the school day. The cost of the exam is $55. You can sign up by filling the Google form that was emailed to you and bringing in your payment to the guidance office. Please check your email for more information. That's all we have for you today, CB. Now here's Riley and Maddie with a segment on St. Patrick's Day. Good morning, CB. I'm Maddie. And I'm Riley. And today we are here to talk about St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated on March 17th. This holiday was created due to the death of St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. For this holiday, many people go to parades, eat special foods, play music, dance, and wear a lot of green. St. Patrick was actually born in Britain, not Ireland, and died March 17th around 460 AD. He was brought to Ireland at the age of 16 after being captured by Irish raiders and was held captive for six years. While being held captive, he started converting people to Christianity. He eventually thought he had visions telling him to leave Ireland and then once he left, he was told to return as a missionary. The three-leaf clover or shamrock comes from how St. Patrick would give them to native Irish to represent the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. America held the first parade for the holiday. Irish soldiers serving in the English military marched to New York City to reconnect it to their Irish roots. Today, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated all around the world, especially in the United States, Canada, Australia, Japan, Singapore, and Russia. Here's a video of St. Patrick's Day around the world.
parades, firework displays, and even Nine Rivers Green Lake in Chicago. The largest display of celebration is in Dublin, Ireland. That's all we have about St. Patrick's Day. Have a lucky day, CV. It's March, ladies and gentlemen, and that means March Madness. I'm Mitchell Gornier. And I'm Don Blades. Every year in March, the NCAA holds arguably the biggest tournament of the year. March Madness is known as the time period of March when the NCAA holds a single elimination tournament for the top 68 teams across all the U.S. The games are held right here in Pittsburgh at PPG Paints Arena, also in Dayton, Ohio, and ends in New Orleans for the championship games. Before we get into the teams, let's look at a quick video about March Madness. There's the pass to Leitner. Through for the win. Smart takes the shot. Oh. Wittenberg. Jordan. Archie Diacono gives it to Jenkins. Gone. Oh. Nice throw. Get it. Oh, it's a long way. One stumble, and it may be the end. I'm so proud of you seniors for fighting. Each obstacle prepares you for the true test. Every game, every moment, is one step closer to the destination. Are you ready? Now, let's take a look at the top rated teams in the 2022 tournament. Coming in at number one, the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Led by freshman standout and future top draft pick Chet Holmgren, Gonzaga named the number one overall seed for the second straight season. After losing the championship to two previous tournaments, the Zags are coming for their redemption. After claiming a number one seed, the Arizona Wildcats should be a threat this year. Under first year head coach Tommy Lloyd, Arizona has been labeled as one of the most exciting teams to watch in all of college basketball. Their star guard, Kirk Crissa, has been dealing with an ankle injury as of late. He is scheduled to play, but Arizona's success could depend on the health of their star. Third team to watch during this year's March Madness is none other than the Kentucky Wildcats. Coached by Pittsburgh guy John Calipari, the Wildcats haven't won the dance since 2012. Junior Oscar Shibway will be looking to take Big Blue Nation back to the promised land. Coming in at number four, the Kansas Jayhawks, coached by Bill Self, have yet again claimed the number one seed with an impressive 28-6 record. The Jayhawks are led by Oche Ogbaji, shooting an impressive 40.5% from beyond the arc. The Jayhawks are no newcomers, winning three past tournaments. Coming in at number five, we've got the reigning champ Baylor Bears, coached by Scott Drew, have acquired a number one seed with a 26-6 record. They are led by L.C. Cryer, who is currently facing an ongoing foot alignment issue. Along with Cryer, watch out for Kendall Brown and Jeremy Sokin. Both can jump out the gym. Baylor won last year and they're looking to repeat as champions. Last but not least, the Duke Blue Devils coached by Coach K on his final ride on his final season. Duke claimed the number two seed with a record of 28-6. The Blue Devils are led by ACC Defensive Player of the Year Mark Williams. Duke is a very familiar team with March Madness as they've been the number one or number two seed in 20 of their last 24 NCAA tournament appearances since 1997. Well, you've heard a little about the teams. Let's see who your classmates think will win it all. All right, Spice Pete got March Madness. Gonzaga. I got the Gonzaga Sags this year. St. Mary's. Baylor. I got Duke. I think the CCBC Titans are really going to make a big impact this year's tournament. Uh, I got the Kentucky Wildcats. I bet I want Nelly Cummings on the 30 first game. Gonzaga. Of course, the Kansas Jayhawks, baby. Rock Chalk Jayhawks. Well, there's a lot of good teams in the tournament this year. It's up for grabs for anyone. If I had to pick, I'm picking the Kansas Jayhawks. Rock Talk Jayhawk, we out. That's all we have for you today, CB. See you in a few weeks for the recap. This week on E! News, Dolly Parton declines her Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nomination 
Tom Brady announces his unretirement, Sandra Bullock takes a break from acting, and more. Hey CB, I'm Grace. And I'm Olivia. Dolly Parton reportedly declined her Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nomination. She says she doesn't feel like she earned her spot and doesn't want the votes to be split because of her. Dolly hopes the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame will understand and hopes they will reconsider her in the future when she is worthy. On Sunday, Tom Brady announced he would not be retiring this year. His initial retirement was announced February 1st. Brady made an Instagram post for his announcement. He captioned it, These past two months, I have realized my place is still on the field and not in the stands. That time will come, but it is not now. I love my teammates and I love my supportive family. Without them, none of this is possible. I'm coming back for my 23rd season in Tampa. We have unfinished business. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Sandra Bullock revealed that she would be taking a break from acting. She's not sure how long she will be gone. She says she takes her job very seriously when she's at work, but what she wants now is to focus on and spend time with her family. She says she plans on servicing her children's every need. While she's taking a break, she still has some projects coming out soon, including her newest film, Bullet Train, which comes out this summer and a possible sequel to her hit movie, Bird Box. Cardi B celebrates her dog's birthday with a cake. The dog, Fluffy, wore a pink outfit with a white flower and a matching pink bow on her head. Fluffy was given a cake with one candle. She sat on the counter and was surrounded by balloons. After the end of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, they are coming out with a new show on Hulu. This show, The Kardashians, will air on April 14th and is focused on their personal lives and businesses. Chris, Courtney, Kim, Chloe, Kendall, and Kylie were returned to star in the unscripted series. That's all we have for you today. Tune in next week for more e-news and have a good day.